this is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Today I have a very exciting episode for you. I'm traveling at the moment, and in this episode I'm going to share with you my favorite juicer for travel. Now I did make a video a few years ago about traveling with juicers and my two favorite juicers at that time to travel with. Now while I still do like those juicers a lot, I found that those two juicers can be combined into the best of both worlds, which is the juicer I'm going to share with you today. Nonetheless, wherever you travel and if you travel and you are on a juicing program at home, I highly encourage you to bring your juicer with you when traveling so that you can continue the juicing lifestyle and receive all the benefits that it provides, such as more energy and you know, more clear thinking and weight loss and you know what, just better health in general, according to my personal experience. Uh, nonetheless, we are traveling and let's go ahead and show you how I travel with my juicer and just some easy tips and tricks so that you can do that as well. The first step is when you travel, uh, take your juicer number one. You can see I have my carry on luggage. Now I only ever carry on my juicers. I don't check them in the bags. If you check them in the bags, they may get lost, stolen or damaged, but if you carry them on, you know what's happening. Now the caveat of carrying on a juicer, you cannot carry on anything with a sharp blade. So that's one of the reasons why I like to travel with the juicer I'm traveling with now because it does not have a sharp blade. Let's go ahead and unpack my luggage and check out the juicer I have today. Now the first thing I want to mention is about my luggage is that I'm using a hard shell luggage. It's not the soft shell. These provide more protection for your juicer inside, especially if it is more expensive. Once again, you want to carry these on and not check them in. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this up. Now my luggage serves two purposes besides carrying my juicer, it also carries my clothes. I tend actually not to check too many bags when traveling because once again they can get lost and things happen. And you know I, I'd like to pack light because I don't want to be you know drugged down with all kinds of things I need to bring when I travel. And you know one of my rules is when I travel if I forget something you know what I'll just go pick it up if I need to. Uh, so here is my bag, we'll open that up and uh, in this pocket actually what we have is uh, something really important that you'll need is a cutting board. So I bring a flexible plastic cutting board so that you can uh, prepare your produce. Sometimes actually I'll even bring a colander as well. Uh, next inside here besides amongst my clothes I have you know a jacket and different clothes there. Now that's around the juicer to basically pad it to protect it so it does not get damaged. Once again this is a carry-on item so obviously if I'm carrying on my machine I'm not going to be throwing my own luggage around. <laughs> so you want to always take care when uh, bringing your juicer anywhere. Uh, inside here what we have uh, is the Omega Vert 350 HD juicer. This is a juicer that I choose to travel with now because of the fact that it's kind of like a cross between the 8003 and the Liquid Mini. It kind of it fills the need of both those machines in one machine. The disadvantage of this machine over the other two in my video that I made previous is that this guy is just a little bit more heavy to carry with so you want to always you know weigh your bags and make sure it's going to meet your airline uh, specifications for you know how heavy your bags can be so we'll go ahead and take that guy out and of course in with the juicer you, you, you uh, bring the collection cups now you don't have to bring the collection cups I've used many a times when I didn't want to pack these because they do take some space and sometimes I'll recommend you know you pack your panties underwears and socks in there to pad it up, plus you're making the best use of the space in there, plus you're kind of padding them up a little bit. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, sometimes I'll just use cups at the uh, hotel, get cups from the restaurant at the hotel, and even get bowls that I use to collect the pulp. So these are not required and actually can be quite fragile because they're thin plastic and break. So unless you really need them or unless you're maybe taking a car trip, I wouldn't necessarily recommend bringing these guys. Another thing that may be handy, let's see, that, that you may want to bring is in here somewhere along my, so here it is, is some utensils. <laughs> so you can bring uh, metal forks and spoons on occasion I've gotten a fork taken away. You can travel with wood or bamboo. So I have a bamboo spoon, bamboo knife, so this can be definitely important uh, when uh, bringing produce to juice. You may need to cut it up uh, and you know bamboo chopsticks and all that stuff. Nonetheless, if you are traveling and staying in a hotel, once again, you know, uh, make use of the hotel facility. So many hotels may have a restaurant on site or room service, and so I'll just ask at the front desk or ask room service to, you know, send up a set of silverware, bowls, plates, cups, and whatnot, like the largest cup they have, because when you're juicing, you know, if you have a small little coffee cup, that's no fun. You want to have a nice big collection 
cut to juice in. So I'll just ask them, and the fun thing is when you're at a hotel, you'll use them, and then when you leave, you can just you know leave them for them to clean up. <laughs> All right, so yeah, uh, uh, bamboo utensils. These ones are from To Go Wear, and actually I like these a lot. These have never gotten taken away from the TSA, although I have take have getting taken away like plastic knives, which is another thing you could do. I like to bring a plastic lettuce knife. 80% of the time that doesn't get taken away, but there's been 20% of the time when I do get my plastic lettuce knife taken away uh, because of TSA just, I don't know, sometimes I think make up rules as they go. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and move this bag out the way here since that's done. Now the next thing you want to do is bring a cooler bag with you. So sometimes, you know, cooler bags can take a lot of space and in general if you're taking an airplane flight, I don't recommend bringing your produce with you. It's just kind of an extra hassle, a drag, and it's going to literally weigh you down. But what you do want to do is you want to bring a foldable, collapsible, collapsible uh, bag that's going to hold your produce so you can pick it up when you get to wherever you're going. So in this case, this is a, a collapsible bag here. We could fold this down. It's uh, padded, and we could open this up. And there's many different kinds of these kind of bags here. And this is basically uh, insulated with foam and has a nice reflective material that will basically reflect back the, uh, and, and keep your produce cold. So you're going to bring this bag with you and then whenever you get wherever you're going, then you're going to go out shopping in the local area. And then you're going to go ahead and put that in your bag, bring it back to the hotel. This has a nice uh, carry handle here. So, uh, you know, and then sometimes if your hotel uh, does not have a fridge, you could actually just, uh, I would like to get some Ziploc bags, fill it with ice from the hotel and put them in the bottom of this cooler bag, which will then keep your produce cold. Uh, uh, that's my second choice. My first choice is to just stay at a hotel that has a little mini refrigerator so that I can keep my produce in there. Now, if you are traveling, you can't really stock up on produce. So what I tend to do when I'm traveling, and also actually when I'm at home a lot, is shop more often. If you shop more often, you're just going to get the amount of produce you need maybe for the day or for the next day, and then use it up and then buy more when you need it. Instead of going shopping once a week, like you could do if you were eating a lot of processed, canned, bottle, and jar foods, that you can literally buy and they'll sit on your shelf for weeks without going bad. The produce expires fast, so you only, only want to buy as much as you're going to need, you know, uh, in a time, in a short time period, and then go out and go shopping again. And let, you know, let the stores inventory the produce for you. And even better than a hotel, stay at an all-suite hotel. So the all-suites hotel generally have a full-size fridge and actually a nice size uh, little kitchen or mini kitchen area with the oven and everything and counters and a full size sink because that actually can be also very beneficial. I've washed countless apples in uh, bathroom sinks and even instead of the bathroom sink I'll use the, uh, the shower to wash my produce and it's not a whole lot of fun. Nonetheless what we're going to be juicing today that I brought with me to the hotel are some uh, cucumbers. So I got some English cucumbers here. They're definitely delicious to juice. I like them a lot. And we got some romaine hearts. These are adding my leafy green vegetables into my juice and in addition we have some uh, red bell peppers the red bell peppers will add a nice red color to the juice and actually add some nice flavor and you just saw the uh, granny smith apple so granny smith apples are probably one of the best apples to juice in the omega vert or other auger style or masticating juicers because they tend not to basically make an applesauce they tend to hold their texture well that being said you do want to you know select your apples carefully and make sure they're not soft or mealy uh, when you get them because those apples tend to not juice well so select a different kind of apples or go to a different supplier that's going to supply you with fresher apples they're going to juice better in the end uh, let's see next i need to go ahead and wash a bunch of this produce up we'll get set up and let's just juice in the omega verb for you now that i have all the produce washed as you can see i have it all laid out and i brought actually two little small cutting boards with me and once again like i said earlier you want to ask room service or the local restaurant to see if you could borrow things like little knives and bowls to you know help you juice more effectively so yeah this would be a little bit more challenging with a plastic knife or even my bamboo knife that I showed you earlier but some kind of knife is better than no knife at all but I'm glad I have a nice sharp knife today so uh, I have the Omega Vert juicer set up and all my produce wash so the next step is simply let's get juicing so what we're going to juice today is a combination of apples cucumbers uh, red peppers and romaine lettuce now this is like a nice uh, base juice. You could of course add some leafy greens or some cilantro, kale, parsley, or whatever else you want. But I do encourage you to juice a lot of neutral and mild vegetables and fruits, especially if you're new in juicing. But it also depends on the produce availability in the area which you're traveling. Once again, I always encourage you to 
uh, juice organic produce whenever possible shop at local farmers markets but if you can't you got to do the best you can actually all this stuff today I'm using is uh, organic except for the uh, English cucumbers which are certified pesticide free grown in greenhouses so without further ado let's get into juicing I guess first we're gonna go ahead and put the apples through the Omega vert because the apples have the softest texture and in general uh, you know if you are juicing apples in the Omega vert it's best to follow the apples by something with a little bit more hard and firm texture so we're just gonna cut this up into pieces and uh, turn the vert juicer on and just drop the pieces into the vert. Now once again, you might want to bring your pusher with you, but you don't want to use the pusher when juicing. Uh, you're, if you're using the pusher, uh, you know, you're probably not doing something right. The pusher is only to get something unjammed. And you should definitely cut everything small enough so that it could actually drop into the vert juicer without being pushed. As you can see, we just dropped that apple in there. Immediately we're getting some apple juice coming out of the machine. We're probably going to go ahead and put in that one whole apple. Next, we're going to go ahead and uh, probably cut this cucumber up into some pieces. And we're going to juice uh, a quarter of the cucumber here. Now, you will notice that I am rotating the produce that I'm juicing in the Omega Vert. Next, I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, romaine uh, lettuce or romaine heart in there. We're going to cut off the end that's kind of bad. I don't necessarily want that in my juice there. And uh, we're just going to take a couple uh, leaves here and uh, feed that in the machine. And almost instantly we start getting some uh, green juice out, the lettuce juice. Now always when juicing in the vert, you want to keep your eye on the outlet uh, port where the pulp is coming out. You always want to see a stream. If the stream slows down, then you want to add something more hard and fibrous. Uh, a carrot, for example, would work really good that I don't have today to help push stuff through and get the pulp moving out through the port again. Be sure to check my other videos on YouTube for proper use of the Omega Verts. Uh, one of them is called Best Practices Omega Vert, so you can do a search on that one. I guess the only thing that we haven't put in yet is the bell pepper, so let's go ahead and cut some of this bell pepper up and uh, drop that in there. Now I always want to encourage you to juice your foods of color all the colors of the rainbow because each food uh, has different nutrients in it especially if they're uh, colorful foods that, that's basically more antioxidants for us so we put a few pieces of bell pepper in there and we got already a cup of juice so that's actually a lot of juice with just a little bit of produce uh, next let's go ahead and put another apple in I do have a substantially large amount of apples in my juice today and that's because that's what was available and what was uh, fairly inexpensive and that uh, and I'm, I'm using the Granny Smith apples, so the Granny Smith apples tend not to make your juice as sweet, and they're also fairly good juicing apples. So I think I'm just going to get back to juicing all this, and we'll come back at you when I'm about finished juicing, and we'll uh, show you the results. So here's the last piece of apple I'm going to put in the juicer, and it looks like we got just about five cups of fresh juice. It actually is going to be my breakfast today. Now you want to let the Omega Vert run until the pulp stops flowing and the juice stops flowing. You can see our collection cups almost overflowing. That's all right. I think we'll go ahead and turn this machine off. Now I do like the Omega Vert because it is fairly quiet and not going to wake up your neighbors at the hotel, which I've gotten complaints before about having a TV too loud but never a juicer too loud. Now let's go ahead and. Uh, Swap that over there, and you can see I have nice five full cups of juice. What I like to do sometimes is uh, take my knife and stir up that juice to mix it all up because we did juice things in different ratios, and you'll get juice layering even in the vert when you're juicing different items. And uh, you might be wondering about the foam. All juicers will produce some level of foam. You know, if you don't like the foam, you could scoop it off, ladle it off, or just actually mix it in the juice. I'm going to go ahead and drink it. Mmm, that juice is so delicious. I just can't get enough of it. Anyways, fresh juice that you make in your own hotel room or even at your own house is me far better than going out to breakfast at the hotel, uh, drinking coffee and the, you know, basically probably orange juice from concentrate and other stuff. Once again, we want to eat the freshest fruits and vegetables as possible. And the juicer literally allows you to eat a lot more of them. So you're going to be super healthy.
The last thing I'd like to mention is when you do travel, the one thing you don't want to forget if you're bringing your juicer is a cleaning brush. I can't tell you how many times I've tried to clean the juicing screen with a towel from the hotel and let me tell you, it doesn't work that well. So don't forget a cleaning brush, whether you bring the one that came with the Omega Verts or you know just buy a little cleaning brush like this, a dish brush at your local big box store for a buck or two. It's gonna help you get the screen clean so your juicer will be ready for the next time you wanna juice and it's gonna produce the most yield. If you allow the screen to get clogged up with little bits of pulp, that means your yield is gonna go down over time. If you are concerned about getting a uh, juice buildup and how to clean your juicer really well over time, uh, check my other videos on deep cleaning your juicer. Actually, I have a really good video on how I clean my juicer maybe once a month to get it all clean. Nonetheless, I hope you've enjoyed this episode that shares with you how I travel uh, with my juicer in a hotel room and still am able to juice and I know you can do it too. Hopefully these tips and tricks will help you to maintain and excel at your juicing lifestyle. Once again, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors.